a new study has examined the links between coffee brewing methods and risks of heart attacks and death, and found the healthiest way to make a cup of coffee. This is apparently the first study to examine these links. 30 years ago, scientist Professor Telle discovered that drinking coffee was linked with raised total cholesterol and the bad LDL cholesterol, to such an extent that it was likely to have detrimental consequences for heart health. Experiments identified the culprit substances in coffee and found that they could be removed using a filter. A cup of unfiltered coffee contains about 30 times the concentration of the lipid-raising substances compared to filtered coffee. Over 500,000 healthy men and women aged 20 to 79 were studied. Participants completed a questionnaire on the amount and type of coffee consumed. Data was also collected on variables that could influence both coffee consumption and heart diseases, so that these could be accounted for in the analysis. For example, smoking, education, physical activity, height, weight, blood pressure and cholesterol. Participants were followed for an average of 20 years. A total of 46,341 participants died. Of those, 12,621 deaths were due to cardiovascular disease. Of the cardiovascular deaths, 6,202 were caused by a heart attack. Overall, coffee drinking was not a dangerous habit. And interestingly, drinking filtered coffee was safer than no coffee at all. Compared to no coffee, filtered brew was linked with a 15% reduced risk of death from any cause during follow-up. For death from cardiovascular disease, filtered coffee was associated with a 12% decreased risk of death in men and a 20% lower risk of death in women, compared to no coffee. The lowest mortality was among consumers of one to four cups of filtered coffee a day. Professor Telle said, the finding that those drinking the filtered beverage did a little better than those not drinking coffee at all could not be explained by any other variable such as age, gender or lifestyle habits. So we think this observation is true. Filtered coffee was also less risky than the unfiltered beverage for death from any cause, death due to cardiovascular disease and deaths from heart attacks. Our analysis shows that this was partly because of the cholesterol increasing effect of unfiltered coffee, said Professor Telle. He noted that unfiltered coffee did not raise the risk of death compared to abstaining from coffee, except in men aged 60 and above, where unfiltered coffee, such as with a French press or Turkish style, which brews with finely ground beans directly in the cup, was linked with elevated cardiovascular mortality. Unfiltered coffee contains these substances which increase blood cholesterol, but using a filter removes these and makes heart attacks and premature death less likely. Professor Telle emphasised that these are observational data, but that if public health authorities asked for his advice, it would be, for people who know they have high cholesterol levels and want to do something about it, stay away from unfiltered coffee, including coffee made with a cafetiere. For everyone else, drink your coffee with a clear conscience and go for filtered. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.